What's up y'all? Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be making strawberry Belgian waffles topped with strawberry syrup and cream cheese glaze. A great addition to any breakfast table. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients we're gonna be using for our recipe today. We're gonna to be using milk, flour, vegetable oil, diced strawberries, eggs, salt, sugar, baking powder, strawberry extract, and vanilla extract. And as always, the exact measurements of all of our ingredients will be listed below the video in the description. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, mixing our batter together for our waffles. As always when making a batter you want to make your uh, dry ingredients separate from your wet, you know, mix them together separately then bring them together. Mm -hmm. So we added flour, baking powder, sugar, and salt to our bowl and we're gonna whisk that up, whisk that up, <laughs> sorry, and uh, make sure it's evenly combined and there's no lumps or anything in it because that will help you later as well. Yes it will. To help um, make, make the mixing of them together easy, mm -hmm. easier. So starting on our wet mixture, we're gonna do our meringue. Now the egg whites, I've seen people separate them all kinds of ways, but we just prefer using the shells. Mm -hmm. This the easiest and the least messiest. Right, because I don't like uh, the way the egg whites feel going through my fingers. So that way, if you want to use that method, you can put the egg yolk in your hand like the white sponge in your fingers. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to touch it like that. Right. <laughs> so, so that's just me. But anyway. So you can use uh, a hand mixer or a stand mixer. Those both are great options <clears throat> when doing this. Yes. I would not suggest using a whisk unless you just you know like to do that and be in the kitchen for hours <laughs> uh, but because this took a long time with the hand mixer right so uh but i definitely would suggest using an electronic device <laughs> device <laughs> of some sort to mix up your <laughs> electronic kitchen device <laughs> right so as you can see the egg whites are getting fluffy so pretty mm -hmm. and that term stiff peaks is you know how people check to make sure your egg whites are ready mm -hmm. and once we're done doing that we're gonna use those other egg yolks you know the yolks that we separated mm -hmm. the thing about this recipe is that you're not gonna waste them right that's so pretty mm -hmm. <laughs> and the egg whites are gonna give our batter um, make our batter more fluffy mm -hmm. which is what we are, we're looking for so yeah so those are the egg yolks I was just talking about and then we're going to add in some vegetable oil and our vanilla and strawberry extract. Okay, you better have strawberry extract girl. <laughs> I did not know strawberry extract existed. I'm sure I could have figured it out eventually. Yeah, there's a lot of different extracts. But I've never seen strawberry, but I've never looked for it either. So exactly. that doesn't mean that, you know, it wasn't there. I just haven't, I haven't looked for it and never used it before. Yeah, we were like, to, we needed a way to flavor our waffle batter, you yeah. know, to give that strawberry flavor. Yeah, we didn't want it to just be, oh, let's just make some waffles and throw some strawberries on top. Oh, strawberry waffles. No, mm -hmm. we wanted you to have that actual strawberry flavor in the batter. And yeah. the strawberry extract and the strawberries did the trick. It did. Mm -hmm. And the uh, strawberry syrup. And we actually put a little bit of strawberry extract and the cream cheese glaze, too. Mm -hmm. Girl. That, that might sound like too much strawberry, but I promise it's not. It's not. <laughs> it, it really isn't. But it really gave us the flavor, though. We actually, you can actually tell that these are strawberry waffles. Mm -hmm. So now, when mixing our wet ingredients, we started with a wooden spoon, but there was an egg yolk running from us, so we just switched from switched to a whisk to just take care of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now, combining the wet and the dry, uh, we're just stirring and pouring at the same time. Doing small amounts, 
You don't want to dump all of that in there. Right. You know, create more lumps and bumps and stuff and mm -hmm. pockets of dry batter. You don't want that either. So you just gotta take your time. Mm -hmm. Take your time in the kitchen. Right. That's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> because you do. You want to take your time and do it um, what in the um, the way that gives you the best results. Mm -hmm. Because you can rush through and then you're like, oh, my batter is not right. I should have taken my time. So just go ahead and take your time and just do it the right way. And you'll yeah. be happy in the end. So. And I know it looks like we're beating the mess out of this <laughs> mixture. It's just sped up. I you promise know. you. It's not. It's fine. <laughs> right. You don't want to over mix your batter though. That's guys. true. So um, now we're going to fold. Fold. Mm-hmm. F O L D fold <laughs> our egg whites into our batter. Um, if you just stir these in, you will stir lose all, them. Yeah, you stir out all the air and mm -hmm. all the fluffiness. Right. So make sure you fold <laughs> to fold the fold. Over. Right. Look at the fold action. Yes. So important. And when it's sped up, it does look like you know we're stirring it, but I can promise there's still a fold going on. <laughs> And it's slowly, you know, dissipating, but it's it's creating the fluffiness at the same time. So right. like it's rising, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, so. That's a great way to describe it. Mm -hmm. And it'll seem like the lumps never are gonna disappear, but I promise you they will. Mm -hmm. Now, we, have, we added um, food, food coloring to our batter just to, you know, make it more fun. Mm -hmm. If you add in food coloring, I would suggest putting it in before you fold in your egg whites it didn't affect our batter thankfully you know, right not doing it we thought about it as we were full do, you know mixing it in we're like oh we should probably should have that before before <laughs> yeah because sometimes we'll think of something we'll do a recipe then we're like oh let's add this mm -hmm. and that's what i love about like i said before doing uh, your own recipes that you can kind of you know doing things at home because you can change it up or add something different or whatever right so, exactly yeah and then with these strawberries, you can put more, or less, leave them out, cut them up how you want to. Mm -hmm. We just thought that they would taste great in the waffles, and they did. They did. It was about six strawberries that we diced. Right. Um, so just keep that in mind for when you know you're cutting up your waffle and you're trying to eat it. You want a, a friendly sized piece of strawberry, right. you know, in, in the waffles. And these were just the right size to, you know, when you're biting, when you're eating them every now and then, you get a a hint of the strawberry pieces in there mm -hmm. and they were not overpowering or anything right just a, a great choice so if you want to use food coloring we use pink gel food coloring and we use red liquid food coloring to give it like a deeper pink color versus it looking like Pepto-Bismol almost <laughs> so, <laughs> so a ball of Pepto right <laughs> so this is the color we came up with mm -hmm. and our um Waffle iron is, I don't remember the temperature, but I think it's like a medium high. Ours yeah. go by numbers, so it's like, like right. three and a half. Yeah, it's closer to four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally we have it on three and a half, but if we move it closer to four to uh, make sure our batter will uh, stand up to the um, actual glaze and everything. Yes, so. and our waffle maker came with like a little cup. Right. And, and it was like a cup and a half of that. Right. right. You know, depending on different, you know, waffle makers, mm -hmm. you might have to use more or less batter. That's true. It looks so pretty. It came out really, really good. Mm -hmm. And y'all, we've had this waffle maker for years. And I tell you, I can never remember, okay, which way do I turn it? Is it to the right or to the left? <laughs> if y'all notice, I'm just like, wait, up to the left, no, it's to the right. <laughs> so... <laughs> But because I don't use it enough to remember, you know, I'm just doing um, doing this this time for this recipe, but I don't use it for everything. Mm -hmm. So one thing I've wanted to do is try and put some eggs in it. Um, waffle maker. You ever seen people make like yep. eggs in waffle maker? They do. They make eggs and they put um, um, pieces of sausage mm -hmm. in those, and then they just mix it all together. Another thing to be careful of is the browning. Um, we didn't lose our color too much, uh, but if you have it up, you know, if you want a darker waffle, you, you might not see your color as good. Right, you can see the little the browning of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you said, it turned out great. It wasn't too overpowering. 
So I'm making the strawberry syrup. I'm wearing a glove because I have a band-aid on my finger. Um, but this recipe is actually in our cheesecake video. So if you want a more detailed recipe with instructions and everything on how to specifically make the sauce, you know, then we'll link that video for you guys to check it out. Mm -hmm. But it's the same recipe. We just are gonna put it through a strainer to get the uh, strawberry chunks out of it later. Right. So that was like a pound of strawberries that I put in a pot. Just gonna mix it with some lime juice, I mean lemon juice, uh, sugar, and some salt, and let it cook for a little bit. The strawberries are so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this stuff is really good. Like I could just eat this with a spoon. Yeah, it's, it's very good, especially on um, something that's not overly sweet. Right, like you know? the waffles. Mm -hmm. Waffles aren't you, typically, you know, super duper sweet. Yeah. So this help with the, this also helps with the strawberry flavor that you want for your uh, waffles. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to use like maple syrup with these waffles either because you're gonna put this on there and you're gonna you're also gonna put that cream cheese um, glaze on there as well. And I, I, you know, normally I eat my waffles dry. Sometimes I put syrup. But this was like a great option because I I don't like syrup all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'll eat like a half of, uh, of a waffle and then I'll just put a little bit of mm -hmm. syrup sometimes. But mm -hmm. lately I just been eating dry whenever I do eat them. So, but this was nice. And this cream cheese glaze is also another recipe that we've used. It's a little tiny bit different because we put a couple of tablespoons of half and half in there to thin it out so we can drizzle it. Right on those uh, waffles, but it's we just made this cream cheese. Uh, oh, my grandson! <laughs> right with my nephew in our other video. So yeah, uh, check that one out. That our brownie uh, recipe. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. He had fun in the kitchen. He did, and he was adorable at the same time. He is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we creamed our <laughs> butter and our cream cheese together, and we put in our powdered sugar just a little bit at a time. This is that strawberry extract that we were talking about that we put in just a little bit to give your glaze the strawberry flavor as well. And then we're going to put in a couple tablespoons of half and half to thin it out a little bit. Yeah, that did make it better mm -hmm. for our um, drizzling on the waffles. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this, this tastes like every cream cheese glaze slash frosting that's out there. Like the cream cheese glaze and stuff you get like Cinnabon. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. It tastes exactly the same. I think we mentioned this in another video how everything that we've made is like, you could get this outside. <laughs> you know what? Like, we could have been doing this. And they charge you like $20. Girl, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we have another video coming up. It's like, we could have been doing this all along. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, some things are not doing anything special. You do the same things at home. Right. And it's over near the cost. You just put that in the um, a squeeze bottle to help the drizzling later. And this is the strawberries I was telling you we're gonna put it through a, a strainer. I'm sure you might have seen people do this before. You just mm -hmm. try to get all the juice out of it by just smashing the strawberries up against the strainer. Mm -hmm. So then you have like a little sauce slash syrup. <laughs> right, and the difference with the cheesecake video, we left the strawberries in there. Yeah, we didn't do this whole... part. So, it worked out. And so we just topped the waffles um, with our syrup, a strawberry syrup. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the color. Yes, and the flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you don't have to do this part like we said if you don't want to. You what? could also serve this uh, <laughs> strawberry uh, syrup on the side as well if people like to dip. You can serve both, both of these on the side. You don't have to put them you know, on top of your waffles. Right. So now we're just putting some strawberries on top to make it look pretty. Even prettier. Such a great recipe. Yeah. It was fun too. It was fun. fun to make. Fun to see all the colors we did and then the powdered sugar on top. Reminded me of Christmas, the red, white, and the green there. Just reminded oh, yeah. me the snow and you know. So. Yeah, so if you guys like this video or if you want to have another recipe, you know, like some blueberry waffles or something, just let us know in the comments and we'll probably make it for you guys. Yeah. 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for joining us. Yes, and hit the notification bell. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.